Hiya. Welcome back. So I decided to use that DVD enclosure. Being says it's ASUS and the drawer is ASUS. And I'm an ASUS fan. So there you go. Anyway, the idea was to make that Blu-ray drive UHD friendly, so it will play 4K. And this is what I used to flash it. So if you go to the Make MKV official site and read on the forum, you'll be able to obtain these. So basically you would select your drive This needs to be tick green. If it's not, then it's not going to work. The encrypted. I'm sure that was green before I flashed it. But it's not now, so. Anyway, you would select your firmware and. That's the firmware for this drive. And then you would just hit start. I'm not going to flash it because I've already flashed it. So yeah. What I would advise. Is before you flash. Your drive. Hit the read. Press start. And it will make a dump. It will read the firmware, what's on the drive, and save it for you. Now, I would like to say to you, yeah, anyone flashing anything, something could go wrong. And if it does go wrong, then 99.9, .9, you've got a dead unit. So... I take no responsibility of anyone who's going to try this. It's worked for me, but it, it may not work for you. So just keep that in mind. Like I say, if you are going to do this, I'd make a dump of the existing firmware, what it comes with, before you write the new firmware into it. Anyway, that's the original firmware, what it came with. And then once I'd flashed it, I backed that up just to see what it would come up as and it, and it come up as what I flashed it with. So the other thing you would need is the firmware itself. So you've got external drives here and internal drives. Like I say, if you look on the forum and have a good read, you know, it's well worth reading through the stuff on there, on the site. Uh, it's just gonna be better for you. So you understand what, what you're doing. You're making sure that your model is is one that exists and ought to be flashed. I mean, there may be other firmwares on there. But after reading through the stuff, that's what you need. This tool 
and then the All You Need Firmware Pack by Marty McNutts. Anyway, let's get that out of the way. There's the status for the drive. And you can see it's enabled. It's been patched. That's the firmware that's what's on it now, 310. DVD all regions, yes. Raw data, yes. Raw metadata read, yes. And unrestricted read speed, yes. So let's kill that. <clears throat> so I did try uh, discs in that drive prior to me uh, flashing it with the firmware. I wouldn't even read the disc. So. There you go, there's the disk information. UHD, disk type. So this is how I would play it. Open disk, hit the blue right tab, hit the no disk menu, and just press play there. There is sound, but turned it off. There you go. So I've noticed you've got to unmount this. See here. This make MKB the beta. You can get a key. It will let you use it for a certain amount of time, like on trial basis, which is cool. I'm probably going to purchase this. So. Yeah.
is one I got from Japan. Yeah, that's the Forker. It's a four count disc. Yeah, if you didn't watch the first video, that's how I'm connecting it. So it's just plugged into the back, and then I can just plug it USB. Studios, Black Panther 2. And then there it should show on this. get to the next chapter This particular version, which is the UK version, it had problems reading it to start with. Uh, I'm going to do a part part three, possibly to this. Same movie as I just put in. So yeah, possibly I will do a part three. Well, it's gonna say the same name, but. Open disc, Blu ray, no menu, play.
Someone well chuffed now that it's UHD friendly. There is another software I've been looking at. It's really expensive. Uh, DVD fab, the all-in-one. Okay guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. Please do your research. You don't want to end up with a dead device. Yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Any questions you've got, put it in the comments. I mean, I've says really what there is to say. Uh, and anyone that's going to attempt to do this, like I say, do your research. But it's well worth it. Because all you're going to do is lose out on money. And time. So I wish you all a great day. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, and possibly I will do a part three to show you the other side after flashing it. Kevin, guys, take care. Bye.